Hi, I'm R. Ray, and I'm here with what women over 50 want from their skincare and makeup. I asked you. I put several polls out to find out what you ladies wanted out of your skincare and makeup, and that's what we're going to talk about today. I asked you if you had $1,000 to spend on skincare or makeup, which would you choose? And skincare won by a landslide. 76% of you said you would rather have the skincare. That's why I'm so excited to have partnered with Maylove for this video. I have been using their skincare for a month and a half. So many of you have noticed changes in my skin, which is saying a lot because on camera, you can't always notice fine changes. But I certainly have so much so that I ordered on my own some of their products that I'm super excited about. I was looking for a sunscreen that would go on smoothly and not be a chemical sunscreen, not react to my skin, something that felt very elegant on my skin and would dry quickly so I could apply my makeup. I ordered their sun protector. This got such great reviews. It sounded perfect, like exactly what I was looking for. And I have to say, this is my favorite sunscreen I've ever used. I've bought some more expensive ones and I've just found that this is beautiful. Beautiful. As you can see, it's not runny at all, yet it's thin enough where it blends right into the skin. Sun care is so important to me. I want to stop the signs of aging. I live in Florida. I'm out in the sun all summer, not for long periods of time, but for maybe an hour walk. And I want to be able to put on something that will keep my skin protected, but then when I am back to work, that I can wear under my makeup. This is just perfect. It moisturizes my skin. I can actually use this in place of moisturizer in the morning, which is what I like to do. I asked you what you wanted out of skincare and 75% of you said you wanted something that would help with wrinkles and sagging. That's exactly what I'm after. I'm trying to keep my wrinkles as smooth as I can so they're fine wrinkles and I also want to keep my skin from sagging. I have three products that I will repurchase when I run out of these because these are just the best results I've had in so long. I feel like these serums are doing better than when I was on tretinoin. Tretinoin was way too too harsh for me and I wasn't really getting the results I wanted just a lot of inflammation and peeling and my skin didn't really look very smooth at the time so I have found that this has been a game changer it's called super smooth it's a resurfacing serum it has AHA and BHA acid in it now I thought my sensitive skin might not tolerate this so I started really slow I started using it on a portion of my face for one night and I did okay, I had no breakout, no rash. So then I tried it one night and skipped a few nights. If you don't have sensitive skin like I do, you may be able to right away start with every other night. Now, one thing I love is when Maylove sent me these products, they had a little cliff notes of which products to use and which order. So that was very helpful to me. But now I'm to the point where I'm using this every night. Now, what have I noticed? Incredible smoothing of my pores. The side of my face is just so smooth I didn't realize how textured it was until I started using this. In this area where my pores are definitely more defined, that is smoother. I've noticed the line that I have in the center between my eyebrows, which I really don't like because it makes me look angry and I don't want to look angry. Well, that has diminished. And I really noticed that after I started using this regularly. So this is a product I will keep to keep those wrinkles at bay. Retinaldehyde has been great for my sensitive skin. So I was super excited because I've heard many people talk about this, their Moonlight Serum. This is what they're sort of known for, this and the next product. And so what I love about this, this is so cool, it is yellow. So I can see exactly where I'm applying it and make sure I get coverage all over. Now, somebody recently in the comments asked me about my neck. They said, are you still using a neck cream? I'm not because what I've been trying is while I'm using these products to bring them down onto the neck and I put them on my hands also. I noticed that my skin has looked so much smoother and my fine lines are very diminished. I was super excited to try the Glow Maker. This is one of the products that Maylove is most known for. It's a vitamin C serum, and that's what I really wanted to focus on, getting a vitamin C that wouldn't give me any kind of breakout or reaction and be highly effective. Now this has vitamin C, E, ferulic acid. It's got all the bells and whistles that I was looking for. I feel like my skin, the, the discoloration in my skin looks a lot better even after the six or seven weeks that I've been using it. I 
do see a difference. And again, the fine lines and wrinkles are diminished. I also asked you all if you use an eye cream. I have talked about several eye creams over the past few months. I didn't used to use an eye cream. I used to just put my regular moisturizer up under the eyes. But I did hear a dermatologist say that eye creams are formulated a little differently where they can penetrate the skin better. So that's when I started back on eye creams and they really have helped. Well, I was super excited because May Love just came out with a brand new eye cream. It finally was in stock, so I ordered it and I love it. It's called the Eye Enhancer. Now this is a really unique eye cream. It's like a gel. It is a gel and it's loaded with caffeine and it has like a, a nude tint to it. So when you rub it into the skin, there's a little bit of, it seems like coverage. Now it's not going to replace concealer, but there is a tone to it and it's warm. Now it does warm up on the skin. If you don't like that feeling, you're not going to like this, but I actually like it. It doesn't last long, the feeling. I'm really excited about this eye cream because I feel it does plump my fine lines. Now you can use this in the day and night. I've been using it for both. So right now, this is the only eye cream I'm using because I want to see the results of it, but so far I'm very impressed. So I did a poll on foundation you like to wear. What do you like to wear? Well, so many of you wanted a foundation with skincare benefits. You also said that you like a long lasting foundation and something that would cover any hyperpigmentation. So the best one I have found from the drugstore that I really like is the one from Catrice, their True Skin. I was so happy when Amazon started carrying it because Ulta doesn't carry it in their stores anymore. And I really love this. This is one of my favorite because as you can see, you get coverage. I don't see any of my hyperpigmentation. When I wear this, I also don't have to worry so much about concealer. Some days I don't even use concealer when I use this. And I love that it covers my broken capillaries around the nose. That's an area that tends to wear off, but when I use this, it stays on fantastic. Since you were wanting skincare ingredients, that's another reason I chose this because it has hyaluronic acid in it, it's vegan, it's free of any microplastics, uh, particles, there's no parabens, no mineral oil. So for a drugstore foundation, I think that's quite an incredible product. I learned so much about you from these polls. I learned when it comes to eyeshadow, you definitely do not want anything red. You also really weren't fans of blue eyeshadow and not so much warm colors, which I tend to wear a lot. You loved cool tones. You also love neutrals. Overwhelmingly, most of you said you wear neutrals and even some of you were telling me that you don't wear any other colors but neutrals. So I went on the hunt and I wanted something that was sort of one and done and easy to apply. Now this is a higher end product, but I feel so worth it. And that's the Charlotte Tilbury, her eyeshadow in the shade Oyster Pearl. This is phenomenal. It is so easy to work with. I enjoy using it with a brush. This is my BK Beauty 206 brush. It's like a little narrow fluffy brush. And I just dip into the product like this and go right on the lid. And I like to start on the lid and then blend and blend out. And the little remnants of product that's on the brush, I brush right under my brow. So there's a little bit of color, but almost not there. This is just perfect. Now, for those of you that love nude, you're going to love it. And those of you that love cool tones, now you could always add some powder shadow to it if you want to add multiple colors. But this is just one of those shadows that's so unique. When you turn and look in different light, you get a different look to it. What I found is it's great for crepey eyes. So many of these crayons that I have tried just settle into any crepey skin that I have and just makes my eyes look worse than if I wore no shadow at all. This doesn't. So for those of you over 70, over 80, that are looking for a cream shadow that will look smooth on the eye, I think this one is absolutely perfect. I also did a poll about blush and there was an overwhelming response to the shade rose. Many of you said you love a very natural, healthy, rosy glow to the skin. So I picked this one, Rosy Rendezvous. It is a beautiful shade from Revlon. It's so easy. It would look great on anyone. Now I've done it very lightly on my skin in the video, but if you wanted more pigmentation, you could put a little more on. But this is a shade that just gives you that healthy look on the skin. And of course, it's rose your favorite color. 
I also did a poll on highlighters and overwhelmingly you love a natural dewy glow. People don't want that beam me up kind of glow on the skin, not at our age. And so I have a brand new one from Flower Beauty. I was so excited to purchase this because I've been waiting. It looks on the outside a lot like Charlotte Tilbury, the one we all know about, and I love it. Now, I haven't tried Charlotte's. I do have her Pinkgasm blush, and I love that formula. This looks a lot like that type of formula, so I'm excited. I'm going to order Charlotte's and compare the two coming up, but this is so easy to apply. You just open the tube here, and that allows you to push the product up. Usually, I do two dabs and just blend it out, and that's it. You can blend it with your finger. Then I usually go over it with a brush on top just to make sure everything is blended but it lasts it gives you that beautiful healthy glow and it's just become a favorite of mine I loved one of the comments because you said, I wish they would make these eyeshadows lip colors instead. You didn't like them for the eyes, but you loved Pinky Nude for the lips. So I have two to share with you. One from the drugstore, and that's this one from L'Oreal. The shade was actually recommended by one of my subscribers. I was showing some of these in a live stream, and she said, have you tried Nude Heaven? I didn't have that, so I went out and purchased it. And boy, is it beautiful. I think this is the perfect shade for anyone, any skin tone. It just is beautiful. These are very moisturizing lipsticks, perfect for mature skin. Now, I paired it with this lip liner from NYX. And this is a newer lip liner for them in the shade Alluring. I love this. I think it's just the perfect shade to go along with the lipstick. It makes the lipstick pop a little bit more because this is slightly deeper. But I love this combination. My other pick is what I'm wearing right now. It's from BK Beauty, and this is the shade Acceptance. Such a gorgeous pinky nude shade. I find that this just goes with everything that I wear. I love these lipsticks. They're so moisturizing, so beautiful. And the packaging, I have to tell you, is one of my favorite. I love a magnetic lipstick, and that's what this is. Now, I have paired it with Sweet Pea. These liners are very affordable. Many days, I have worn the liner and put a little gloss on top and worn these like a lipstick. But I love the slant that these are on. It makes it really easy for me to draw a line around my lips, easy to fill in. These are just fantastic lip liners. I want to send some love out to May Love for supporting my channel. I appreciate it so much. And I have a link below for you to order from. If you order through that link, I don't get any extra commission from that, but it lets them know that you appreciated the product and the video and that you're excited to try it. Now, the winner of last week's giveaway is in the first pinned comment. This week, I'm going to give away one of the lighted makeup mirrors. I am over the moon about this. I'm ordering myself a second one. I'm going to keep one in my filming room and keep one in my bathroom and maybe a third for my purse. What's great about this, it's rechargeable. It lights up. On one side of the mirror, it's seven times the size of a mirror. So it allows me to see when I'm trying to do close-up work on my eyes or even lining my lips. That's been a game changer having a makeup mirror where I can see what I'm doing. So if you're interested, just make sure to leave me a comment below. If you're not subscribed to my channel, I would love for you to subscribe. We have such an amazing community of women here. We share ideas with each other, motivate each other. So I would appreciate it if you do that. And if you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. That also supports the channel. Thank you so much for watching. Now, if you're free on Wednesday night, I do live streaming on Wednesdays at six o'clock Eastern time and I would love to see you there. I hope you have a blessed and beautiful week. I'll see you soon.